Veronica on Netflix, did you notice this huge part of the movie? Reviews missed it. Veronica has been a runaway horror hit on Netflix, but did you notice what one viewer has described as a big point of the movie that critics missed? The film, directed by Paco Plaza, boasts a cast of young Spanish actors and shows the titular character suffering from paranormal experiences after using a Ouija board. It's consistently terrifying, but writing on Reddit, one viewer, Usk Max, has put a Latino perspective on it and highlighted some elements that casual viewers might have missed. In a post that has had a great deal of upvotes and comments, they wrote, if you went to Catholic school you would appreciate the attention to details. None of the girls had on makeup, nor did they have nail polish, the looser girls had hiked up skirts etc. There are some reviews out there that miss a big point of the movie, Veronica has not had her period. She fantasizes about her neighbor, dancing, singing, making out, she feels that she is treated like an adult, raising her siblings, but in actuality is still a child. Her mother insists she needs to grow up, but that's both figurative and literal. It seems to me that she has lost her anchor, father, and is stuck in a world she didn't chose to be in. Being Catholic, I know this is a huge deal for mothers and daughters. Her mother is absentee, as is her period. They added, she also feels overwhelmed, that dream sequence where her siblings are eating her personify this feeling. The ending is great but not the best. The setup that she herself is the demon terrorizing her family was only really explored at the end. She is a victim of her environment. Her father passes, her mom is absentee, she has to take care of her siblings. She fantasizes of a world outside her apartment, and she lost her friends. Remember she says to her mom, it doesn't come when you're home. This a clear line of what's real and what isn't. The bond of the mother at home to her kids, while broken by loss, is still strong enough to keep the demons at bay. So even if it's a real demon or Veronica, mom always takes care and protects. Throughout the movie Veronica asks her mom for help, it's never given. Veronica is loosely inspired by a true story, of a mysterious case in Madrid from the early 1990s. As scary as it is, recently a viewer took to Reddit with the hilarious moment recommended they watch cute animation Finding Dory, because you watched Veronica. The film's stars include Sandra Escasina, Bruna Gonzalez, Claudia Placer, Yvonne Chavro, Anna Torrent, Consuelo Trujillo, Angela Fabian, and Carla Campra. Veronica is streaming on Netflix now.